What's going on, everyone? Welcome back with another one. The boy, Woody, he's about to swing by and uh, show me his truck. He basically is side business where he provides roadside assistance for motorists such as cars, trucks, and semi-trucks or, you know, fleet vehicles to say. So, you know, he's been thus far working out of his Toyota Tacoma. <laughs> For a couple of years and now he's like you know he really wants a fleet vehicle where he can basically have something to organize his tools parts provide roadside assistance and not have to you know come back home to grab a tool for another job so he'll basically have enough tools on him to you know be able to service any type of vehicle so uh i'm not going to really spoil the video but uh you guys check it out yeah so this is woody guys this is my man just got himself a nice utility truck here yes yeah, sir just look at this man this guy hooked the lights up again. I just put, L I'm putting LEDs in there. Dude, that's crazy. It's got carpet too. Yeah. That is nice. Shelves. Dude, this is nice. Wiring. A window back there. Jeez. Ugh. This is nice. This is this is what I have to call a work truck. This is what I call a work truck. Man, this setup is nice. And how much you said you got it for again? Uh, $4,500. Wow. It's a little rust, but I'm like, for the year, you can't beat it. Oh, dude, you can access these bulbs easily. Say what? I said you can access the bulbs easily. Yeah. Oh, dude, I love this. This is like a workbench outside. I love that, man. Dude, 4,500, man, bruh. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this, man. The only thing I've had to do so far is put calibers on it and change the knock sensors. Calibers to change the knock sensor. Yeah, because the chickens are like came on last night. I'm like, damn it. And I looked at it. I'm like, oh, it's knock sensor. So I spray painted them real. Dude, it looks wonderful, man. It definitely looks wonderful. And this frame, man. This frame is beautiful. Just the back of it. Believe this man, this thing is pristine. Two pumps, yeah, two guys things ridiculous on gas. <laughs> Bruh, I would definitely say it's usually 10 to, 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 to 15,000 that it people would. More than that. It would be more than that because I was actually about to buy a new one. They wanted 25,000. 25,000, God. Like, how did you come across this truck? <laughs> Made the wrong turn. Made the wrong turn? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually at work. I made the wrong turn. I was headed to the Fifth you know, Market to work. And yeah, I was supposed to meet a left and I made a right. And yeah, there you go. See, guys, sometimes <laughs> the wrong turn is the right turn in life it leads you to the right direction you know what i mean he, he made the wrong turn and ended up in the right direction of purchasing this truck yeah there you go ah uh, nice yes sir you know it's friday daylight. 
Dude, this is perfect. This is perfect. Oh, oh, it's got that little beep. I gotta hear this. <laughs> this is nice. Yes. Oh yeah. Man, this thing is so quiet, man. This is crazy. How much? How many miles? One hundred twenty-five thousand. One hundred twenty-five thousand. And this was the old county truck. Yeah. State truck. So this was the perfect vehicle. You get yourself a, a state vehicle, trust and believe. They keep their vehicles maintained. Yeah. I'll probably change, got to change the spark plugs, but that's about it. Spark plugs. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if it'll pass. I, I don't see much leak. Uh, How far is the valve cover scratching? Couple of weeks. Just a little bit of weeks. Oh, what for your power stand pump? Yeah. Yeah, I would just clean that up. Yeah. Man, this thing is too clean, man. Too clean, too quiet. It's just perfect, man. Perfect work vehicle. Those are they work, they are pain. Yeah. I mean, that's the smallest thing, man. Yeah. That's the smallest thing. Dude, this is crazy, man. For the price, of, for this truck, man. It's hard to get trucks around that price. Yeah. Point blade, period. That even runs. It's about 100. He's like, it ain't even worth that. Give me 45. I'm like, wait, what? Okay. Wow. Give me, I'm put it down payment on it. Right. Like, like right now. Man. That's and crazy, guys. When I drove it, it was sticking on the back caliber. Oh, right. yeah, you did tell me about that. So, the back caliber on the right side, so... It was, it was, it was the left side. Left side? Sticking, yeah. So, you just basically took it apart, reconditioned it? No, I just replaced them. Oh, like you a, just replaced them? Like, uh, like 100, 100 uh -huh. a piece or okay. whatever. Damn, that's a good-ass deal. Yeah. Shucks, that's a good-ass deal. I'm trying to drive it around see if the check engine light will come back on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, for that knock system. I was thinking about just cutting the top end off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so that way it'll just be a clean portion. If need be, I'll leave these on. Because I took these off on the other side, but I said I might, like you say, might put them back on. Yeah, man, because you, you never know. There might come a time when you're working on the truck. Might have something that you got to uh, want to just throw up there. Yeah. Man, this is a nice-ass truck, man. God. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh yeah, so that was why you're working at night. That's my car sometimes, all right, nice. So, I do roadside on cars, tractor trailers, um, yeah, cars and tractor trailers and come to you. Come yeah. to you, so. Roadside assistance, yeah, roadside assistance, cars, trucks, semi trucks. You guys let him know. It doesn't look like much needs to be done. You know what I mean? Just that. Just some of the lines. That's it. Like you said, clean them up. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the only thing you really need to do is just throw your uh, your decals on there, man. Yeah, I'm Talent. Gonna throw a magnet on the side of it. Oh, okay. 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 I like this. So that way, if you're up here, you don't slip. Yeah. No slipping, no sliding. Yes, for sure. So, yeah, I'd say I can't wait. I cannot wait. Throw some, eight, uh, throw some LED lights on the side. Yeah. I think I'm gonna put it right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Man, that's so perfect. That's perfect. I'm going to a um, master switch. Lights on this side, lights on that side. If I'm working in the back, right facing backwards. I don't think I need them more so facing forward. But. Yeah, yeah, just just backwards. I mean, only thing you'll probably need is an LED bar in the front. So that way, when you're coming down the road, people can see you. Yeah. Nobody cares about nobody no more. Shoot, I've been almost hit on the side of the road. I need to track the trail in a car. God. Somebody's texting and driving. I'm right this close. Ah, oh, man. Fix you up. I'm just like, ah, this is my day to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't here today. All right. So I had to put two pieces of metal. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. It's not. It's it, it goes in yeah. like at a slope. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So do a double, single on this side, and a double on this side. And call it a day. Yeah. But like, shucks, I man. That's like, okay. that's perfect, man. That lock. Wiped everything down and sprayed. They have some type of lube working on forklifts. So like metal to metal contact. So I sprayed all that into that there. And all of them. Of course, so metal to metal on everything. Gotcha. So, you have to just clean it up. Make it look that decent. This thing is it's in such of a perfect condition. Especially for the price. It's crazy. Even like underneath the frame just looks beautiful man the guy that I bought it from he said all he did was he did front suspension on it that was it man wow you could tell when you got up when you looked at it like the front suspension probably made shots or whatever Shucks, man, you made it happen. Yeah. You made it happen. It's crazy. I still don't believe it. Right. I still don't believe it. Oh, wow. Shucks, you're going to believe it when you get that first call and you first use it, and you're going to see how useful this joint yeah. is compared to when you had the uh, Tacoma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, fishing through, looking for parts. Right. I had a metal cover. Uh, yeah, metal um, kind of bench, but I took it out so I could put my compressor in. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. But that compressor is big, though. So I, I, I can mean, definitely well, see. I'm going to use what I got for right now. Gotcha. And um, it's a little baby. There's one that I've always had in the back of the pickup truck. Oh, okay. But I'm going to run that and have another 20 gallon tank. And I'm gonna run that. So, 20 gallon tank. So okay. I have 38 gallons or something. Gotcha. I'm gonna throw an inverter in there too later on. Oh yeah. Got an inverter. Oh yeah. I'm just, more so that's the one day everybody can come over and drink beer and put this thing together. Oh yeah. It's oh sure. yeah. Which hopefully be next month. Something like that. Next month? Hopefully. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> it has a switch for the switch switch for double um front and back gas tank. Ah, interesting. Yeah. So this is nice. I just wired up the cargo lights in into the back lights. So literally if I forget to turn the cargo lights on, I forget to turn the cargo lights off. It'll time itself out. Ooh. And there's a switch back there too to turn it on and turn it off. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So. Nice. Conserve power, not uh drain power. Especially at uh at night. Yeah, especially. I've been broke down inside the road, I had to call somebody else to do it. Darn it. Man. Hey, we're doing side work to get called to get side work. I'm like, God darn it. Right. But yeah, um, what the hell? I gotta hook up my um CB radio. Okay. Put that in there. Damn, that's nice. They actually come with all the 3500s. 
Really? CB Radio Connects. Yeah, I was surprised. Damn. Yeah, I was surprised. That's impressive. CB Radio Connects. I was like, okay, cool. But I took it out the van. And then after that, I was like, oh, this has one. Okay, never mind. Man, this is this is a dream right here. This this is every man's <laughs> dream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Most definitely. Golly, I'm I'm telling you, man. Once you once you get once you get that decal on there with your the, the business uh, information, man, your phone's gonna be hot. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. You're right. Because literally, I have everything tools and gear, tools and layers. I think I really don't even think I have that much. I got a lot of tools, but if there's more organized, you know what I mean? It's less. Yeah, yeah. It's this would definitely, yeah, this would definitely keep it more organized for sure. A lot more organized. For sure. Lord have mercy. For sure. I'm just like, dude. But yeah, man, I'm telling you, man, that's what everybody want. Everybody want a mobile mechanic. Everybody wants a mobile mechanic. Matter of fact, a friend of mine, his mom just texted me uh, this morning. was like, hey, Britton, do you work on vehicles? And I, I want to be like, yeah, but then I'm kind of like, nah. I really want to leave it up to my friends that are mobile mechanics because it's just like if I do it, you know what I mean? It's going to take me a minute, you know, because I'm going to just be taking my time. But you, someone like you, you just be like, knocked it out. Done. Yeah, get it in, get it out, and move on to the next one. Exactly, exactly. Get it in, get it out, move on to the next one. Shit. Yeah, I gotta put some. Um, I put some fuel cleaner in here. I gotta throw some fuel. I buy a big jug of fuel cleaner in there. Oh, okay. And then fill it up. So I'll probably spend like a hundred dollars on gas. Oh, yeah, so just to uh, run some fresh fuel and clean in there to clean yeah. out the. It system yeah that yeah. makes sense that makes yeah. sense air conditioning even works i'm not an air conditioning really? person wow yeah, it's cold it's cold i had to turn it off yesterday wow that's <laughs> impressive <laughs> work truck yesterday. with ac that's crazy man oh my goodness. that crazy. is crazy see guys this is why you gotta buy a state vehicle buy a state vehicle you won't go wrong yeah, you're right. Especially if it's the state vehicle that does like construction work, they definitely take care of them. Police vehicles, yeah, you know, they use them, breeze them. But vehicles like this, this is a gold mine. But even even to find something like this, usually the price is up there still. Right. You know, like 10, 10, 10, 000. Right, right. Because I know I heard all Chevys and GMCs with that door issue. What the uh? Like, like literally, like what is it? They get a lot, but then it can it that when it drives, it just vibrates loose a little. Really? Yeah, they're all known for that. Even when there's a lot. Wow. Yeah, you can hear. It. Oh, you heard it? It's that door. Yeah. Uh Is it? Is it the actual? Locked, uh, I don't even know. I think it's a known recall from years ago. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's a known recall from years ago. And I might need to change the rotors. I'm just saying, I don't need to change the rotors. Yeah. Especially since it's a dually. Like, yeah, that's going to be a beast. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Those are a hundred bucks a piece, though. I mean, that oh, okay. Bad, but still, all the work, bearings, and everything else. You got to take the whole axle out, bearings oh. out. Oh. Lord, uh, yeah, she is all one complete assembly. Yep. God dang, I'm gonna take I'm taking it to Milford Mill Auto right around the corner. That's where they got my racing truck, too. Oh, oh man, they're gonna hook you up. They're gonna be like, Oh, you got it, man. Yeah, you brought another truck. Man. Yeah, man, we can look at it real quick. Hopefully, you know, it was, it was like a hundred, it said a hundred, a hundred and thirty to a hundred and. Fifty. I was saying like two hundred dollars, probably at the most, and get inspected. To get inspected. Look at them like that. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. So we got another Chevy Silverado, custom, custom truck, custom work, all done by Woody. Yeah. This is the race truck right here. 
Man, this is some some serious nice work. Serious thing. What is this the uh what's this transmission line? Yeah. This is clean, man. This joint is clean. This is definitely a low key truck. You look for it from outside, like okay, all right, old Chevy. But underneath him, golly. Yeah, guys, we about to we about to hear. We about to get to hear this truck start up. I was gonna say you never heard it start. No, nah, I never have. Not in person. Oh, only on the, the video. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. The video that you had sent. So tell everybody what's what's done to this motor. Uh, forged rods, forged pistons, stock crank. Unfortunately, you know, broke people. We broke out here. I mean, later on down the line, if I want to get uh aftermarket um crank here, if I will. Um. Uh, stage three Texas Speed Cam. Stage three. Damn. Yeah, turbo cam. Um. Good lord. What else? I can I can understand why your neighbors hate you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> just upgraded head gaskets. Um. Forge. Um. What is it? Studded bottom end. Studded top end. I'm telling you, I went ham. I tried to build it for a thousand horsepower. Damn. Yes, sir. Building for like a little bit of horsepower. True, true, you know I mean? true. Yeah. If you're gonna build, you're gonna build. Later on down the line, might as well. Build it where you wanna build it. Yes, sir. It's gonna smoke you out. All right. That is serious, man. God damn. It's not even done, it needs a tune. Dude, this thing is a beast. <laughs> yeah. God damn, man, this joint is a beast. <laughs> oh, built it ourselves. It wasn't taken to the shop and let them build the motor. We fucked up a lot <laughs> in this motor. Imagine you putting the whole motor back together and you see red things inside, come to find out you leave rags in the motor, so you had to take it back out. God. Take everything back apart, take the rags out, put everything back together, retorque it. Yeah. Right there. Right right in right in right here. <laughs> right in the driveway. Right in the driveway. On the Man. tire. Change <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Tear down the driveway. Yeah. That's crazy. And put it back together. Dude, that's that thing right there is sick, man. <laughs> that thing is sick, man. I I can't wait to see this joint on the road, man. Yeah, man, bro. Open headers, though. I'm telling you, that's straight open headers. With a misfire, <laughs> a random misfire. Damn, man. Mm. Man, as soon as New, had to go to New Jersey for some for those rims. I, dude, I know these <laughs> rims right here, man. They had are. To go to New Jersey. They are wonderful, man. And this is um SS, right? Yeah. That's what's yep. yeah. Yup. I got all four for like four hundred. Damn, that's a good ass deal. Yeah. Um, I gotta get a new regulator. Gotta get a muffler. Somebody can't open the shit out of it. Four hundred eighty transmission. Um. Jeez. I think probably a stock rear. Jeez, man. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Dude, I I just heard. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard, man. I don't like starting it up too much anymore now. Yeah, <laughs> man, dude, I can, I can, I can only imagine. <laughs> I started up at nine thirty at night. Oh night. my goodness! <laughs> and I tell you, it got all six grand that night. Damn! Nine thirty at night. Jeez! I apologize to all my neighbors. So I'm like, I'm sorry. Like my one backyard neighbor, she's like, "What you doing? Waking up the neighborhood? Just messing with me." 
I'm just like, um, <laughs> you know, when you work on something all day, and then it's like you ain't going to bed till you hear it start. Till you hear it start. Eggs, yeah, 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 most definitely. So, most definitely. And plus, like you said, I'm taking a break from it, so I'm like, I oh yeah, you, exactly, like, you know I mean? exactly. So it's kind of like, man, ooh. this thing is sick, <laughs> yeah, and it's got uh, you lowered it. Yeah, two inches in the front, two no inches, inches in the, front. the back. I did five inches in the front, but it was too fucking low. God. It was like literally. Oh yeah, yeah. You sent the pictures. Yeah, I remember that. It was, yeah. it was, it was like it was bad. It yeah. Was, it was low, low, low. I'm like, I don't like it. I wanted it to look like shit. That's why I did that patina look. I, I did that all myself too. Man. Oh, if you oh yeah, yeah. I remember that because you um. What well, did you? What did you? Technically put? speaking, my bad. Let me let me. So if you put on YouTube, actually it was um. What was it um? Something Bastard Garage or Bastard Garage. Bastard Garage. Yeah, Bastard Garage because he has a patina truck. And I watched that video and I did something a little bit different. I put clear coat, spray paint, but I might pay the extra, I might pay the money and get it clear coated. But I get it. That. Oh, okay. Okay. Get it clear, clear coated. They want 800 for like fucking. I don't even remember where. What about makeup? That's what it, that's where I went to. Oh, really? Oh, Jeez, eight hundred dollars. Eight hundred. Man, whatever happened to the, the like the, the four hundred the five hundred dollar deal? Because <laughs> uh, I said I want to clear coat the whole truck. Uh, oh, uh, it's probably also awesome because you said it's a truck. That's probably well. But I got the hood, the fenders. I tried like doing the bag. I tried to do an American flag, but it didn't go as well. But what the? Like putting putting them right. Oh, no, look. Um, I'll show you. Ah, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh shit. Yeah. I see. I pushed it too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I see that too. Okay. It was actually fifty. I accidentally messed it up, but I did it enough that it worked. And then I did the the light skin, the, the light ones, then the dark ones. I did it. Damn. I learned. I I didn't learn. I trial and error. But this is nice, nice and smooth. Yeah. And then you buff it out, like with a sander, or I mean, not with a sander, with literally by hand, buff it out. And yeah. Dude, this is sick. Yeah. <laughs> this is sick, man. Yeah, it feels good when when we started up, you know, just like, man, I built it. And plus, we, me and her did the brakes. We just did the brakes. Oh, just bled the brakes. Finally. Yo, that shit takes forever. Oh, to, uh, to bleed all the air out this thing? Yeah. So I can only imagine, man. That's a I can only imagine. So, yeah, we got that done. So now, I got that truck done. Just going to the shop. I'm getting the tune done and getting alignment. I mean, I still got the turbo and everything else. Man, y'all stay tuned to see what's in store. Once it's doing hits the streets, man, trust and believe me, man. Trust and believe me. I ain't doing no banger shit, but I'll, I'm going to be done. I'll be going roasting them tires, though. Shit, man. We, start, we starting out in the driveway for 20. I said, I don't know if it might be done 2021. I mean, it might be done 2021, but I'm saying taking it out, taking it out. Oh, like, yeah, on the streets for a cruise. Like 2022. Oh, I don't know. 2021, 2022. I don't know. Stay tuned, guys. Blood, sweat, and beers, motherfucker. Blood, sweat, and beers. <laughs> <laughs>
kept scouting around, kept scouting around for a vehicle. Then he seen, hmm, the actual fleet vehicle that I want. It's just, it's just not in the price range of, of what I can afford, okay? Not what I need, but what I can afford, okay? It's not in that price range. But he didn't give up. He was like, okay, it's not in the price range now. But there's still a possibility that I can still get there. So if I continue to save, continue to save, continue to save, I can get that fleet vehicle that costs 20, 20, 20 grand. But just what happened is that as he continues to go on his plan that he mapped out, all right, I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna save this, and eventually I'm gonna get there. He was saving for the vehicle that he has now. So that turn, as he was working, trying to get to his job destination, he made the wrong turn, which turned into the actual correct direction that's going to leave him to a successful business. I'm trying to tell y'all. So, at the end of the day, guys, let me tell you, let this let this video be a motivation that you too can accomplish what you set your mind on. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But on another note, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Peace!